In this video, I am going to explain about Pentium Pro architecture. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and share to your friends. So this Pentium Pro is an IA32 architecture. Here IA is nothing but Intel architecture and 32 is nothing but the all the internal registers of this Pentium Pro architecture is 32 bit long. So this Pentium Pro has 12 stage super pipeline implementation whose efficiency is 33% higher than that of Pentium process. That is this Pentium Pro has 33% higher efficiency compared with the Pentium process. By this 33% efficiency which gives the ability to operate at higher clock frequencies compared with the other Pentium processors. So this P6 processor frequently designated as a SISC processor with a risk like features. That is this P6 processor is a, a Cisco processor but it has risk like features. So this P6 is considered to have super scalar order of 3 which means that on an average it can handle 3 instructions at a time that is 3 instructions can be fetched, decoded, executed and retired per clock cycle. So these are the Pentium Pro architecture features. So here it is the architecture of uh, Pentium Pro processor. So here this Pentium processor has uh, two cache memories that is uh, level 1 cache and level 2 cache and this level 1 cache is divided into two parts that is uh, D cache and uh, I cache and for this Pentium Pro architecture has uh, a branch prediction unit and a uh, fetch and decode unit, execution unit and retirement unit. So here we have the term is there in order. So this is given for fetch and decode unit. So here in order is nothing but issuing of instructions to different execution units was in order. So here once again I am remitting the in order is nothing but issuing of instructions to different execution units that is nothing but in order. So this fetch and decode unit will issues the different instructions to the execution unit and now this is out of order this is given for execution unit and for retirement unit it is given as in order so already we discussed about this in order now we will see about out of order when an instructions operand is passed on to a, a particular reservation station it is considered as issued for execution even if a functional unit is not available as yet the operands can wait in the reservation station without incurring a structural hazard so this is because a reservation station is considered to be a part of a functional unit. So this leads to an out of order execution. There is nothing but here that instruction will be in pipeline. So this is about the a brief discussion of this Pentium Pro architecture. And here it is the instruction window of the Pentium Pro architecture. So which shows that the dynamic scheduling is uh, represented in terms of an instruction pool or window into which instructions are fed in and taken out once execution is done. So this will be called as a instruction pool or window. So now we will see from this instruction window we will see the about uh, fetch and decode unit, dispatch or execution unit and uh, retire unit. So the first one is that fetch and decode unit. This is an in order unit takes instructions from iCache and decodes them into a, a series of micro opcodes. This is about that fetch and decode unit. And next one is that dispatch or execute unit. So this is an out of order scheduler for the micro opcodes that takes into account all the data and the structural hazards and allows execution after resolving them. So this is about that dispatch and execute unit. And last one is that retire unit. This is also in order unit it has knowledge of uh, when instructions are completed so that they can be committed or retired that is after the execution still those instructions are used or not that can be decided by this retired unit so this unit must not only take note of which micro opcodes are complete but must also arrange the results in the original program sequence so this is about that retire unit. And now we will see about the key feature of this uh, Pentium Pro architecture. 
is an innovative out of order execution technique that has been designated as a, a dynamic execution so the dynamic execution includes three data processing concepts one is that branch prediction second one is that dynamic scheduling and third one is speculative execution so now we will see about that uh, branch prediction so this branch prediction is aimed at delivering high performance in superscalar micro architectures so this pentium pro architecture implements a, a highly optimized branch prediction algorithm to predict the direction of the instruction stream through multiple levels of branches so this is about that branch prediction and next one is that dynamic scheduling is the scheme in which the flow of data is analyzed at the run time to determine the data and register dependencies and to pave the way for out of order instruction execution so this is about that dynamic scheduling of uh, pentium pro architecture and next one is that uh, speculative execution is the result of the above mentioned two techniques that is this uh, speculative execution may use this branch prediction and dynamic scheduling techniques so the above figure shows a, a comprehensive picture of the pentium pro architecture there is nothing but p6 architecture so the following points make the understanding of the block diagram more easily there is the first point is there are five functional units in the execution units and the second point is the register alias table is a part of the register rename logic and third point is the decoding logic has three sections for catering to different levels of complexity of the instructions involved and fourth point is after decoding into micro codes a sequencer sends them into execution units and fifth point is the retirement register file is the same as the arf of the processor so here arf is nothing but architectural register file simply we can call it as a arf of the processor because when an instruction is retired the results are stored in the registers of the processor and the sixth point is the rename register file is included in the order buffer and we have the final point that is seven point the memory order buffer is for reordering data in memory it is the part of the memory subsystem and interfaces the processors out of order engine with the memory so this is about understanding of the block diagram of pentium pro architecture so thank you very much for watching this video to watch more videos please subscribe to my channel open box education